Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today I'm in the shop. Just got back from setting up uh, a strip till bar today. And behind me, I can see the guys are making some serious headway on this 1790. You can see the four tanks that we've mounted on the wings so far. Let's turn this thing around and dig into what all we're doing to the planter fertilizer of this 1790. So we're doing a lot of different things to this uh, 1790, but you can see first off the, the obvious is the, uh, the tanks. We're mounting four 150 gallon tanks, of course two on each wing, and uh, that is going to be the same product. And there you can see the fill port going up into that tank. Um, and it's going to be in like a two by two scenario. So. We're running with the Yetter 2968 units with the uh, knife, the spring-loaded knife here instead of the injector. Basically what we're doing is this blade will cut a groove and then this rear swept spring-loaded knife rides along <clears throat> and right there is our placement point of the fertilizer. We've got our check valve with our orifice housed right up in here and uh, of course that's only on the corn rows. Uh, this is a corn and bean planter, uh, but they're just doing that on the, on the corn rows. The bean rows um, and every row, we put brand new seed disc openers, brand new Yetter poly spike closing wheels. Uh, you may have seen the video I did there. We put new bushings back here on this tailpiece and uh, a few other various things. We had a tire that needed fixed on it, but we're kind of going through it and then to monitor the fertilizer we went with a uh, surefire sentinel uh, to read row by row flow that'll run up through his john deere 2630 display and then we're using a john deere uh, liquid rate controller to control the liquid and back here we've got the pump and sections all mounted up here real nice and tidy um, <clears throat> two section control of course we've got a flow meter uh, back here with a PWM valve right here so that we can quickly uh, control and adjust rates uh, from the cab so we'll head to the back here and check out the fill station on this planter So here's the fill part, um, two inch, and we just tied it in off of the step right up there, came back with this bracket and two inch male. Then we've got our filter housing right there. And uh, yeah, everything runs in real nice uh, right there to fill. Obviously it's up in the air now, but when you fill, it's gonna be nice and low down in here somewhere and at a comfortable, and manageable height so that's what's going in on in the shop right now even though it is harvest time it is always planter time got planters in the shop and getting them ready to go for spring so that's what we're doing today thanks for tuning in